Across California, we've been seeing a winter storm bringing heavy precipitation, causing dangerous road conditions. Fox 26 reporter Sophia Lesios is out live to show you what it looks like across our state. Sophia, where are you right now tonight? Christina, I'm on McKinley and Peach. That's right near the Fresno International Airport. And as you can kind of see, it is raining. It's pouring. The old man is probably snoring. But before I talk about the conditions right now, I mean, we have been seeing this across the entire state of California. We've seen snow, we've seen rain. It has caused a lot of landslides and mudslides. Here's a wrap up of what the entire state of California has been experiencing in the last 24 hours. From watches to warnings, mudslides to rock slides. No corner of California was spared from the ongoing winter storm that has plummeted areas from the Central Valley to the Central Coast. In Santa Cruz, the California Highway Patrol tweeted this photo on State Route 9 between Bear Creek Road and Riverdale Boulevard as an active landslide blocked the highway. CHP predicted the cleanup will take several days to clear the road. More photos from CHP Santa Cruz as trees have fallen down on other various locations throughout the area and other flood advisories have been issued in several places, including places like this area with rising water levels along Coralitos Creeks, the high water prompting evacuation zones near the city of Watsonville, those higher rain rates creating massive sinkholes in Santa Cruz County. KSBW News posting this photo of a sinkhole off Glen Haven Road with the County of Santa Cruz tweeting, evacuation orders have been issued for Felton Grove and Paradise Park. Please move to higher ground for safety. In Northern California, Caltrans tweeted these photos in Stockton earlier, showing several workers clearing drains, quote, doing everything they can. Severe weather impacting commuters as well. Traffic was backed up on highways with a large mudslide came falling down due to the rain. Caltrans also tweeted this photo in the Bay Area stating the far right lanes on the westbound I-580 east of Eden Canyon Road near Dublin and Alameda County are blocked due to a mudslide. And in South San Francisco, you can see heavy rain and snow melt causing flooding on the 101 freeway, closing both directions. Closer to home, we have several landslides. Caltrans posting this photo of a rock slide on Highway 168 near Shaver Lake and Pranther on Saturday. The road wave closed in both directions from the four-lane highway with westbound traffic being detoured at Toll House. Cal Fire Fresno County shared these photos on social media Saturday night from firefighters responding to a truck stuck in a flood off Toll House Road. According to Cal Fire, when firefighters arrived, they found a man stranded in his pickup truck. The man was not injured and was rescued by the Fresno County Water Rescue Team. And across the city, we have seen weather damage causing many trees and branches to fall, with a few different neighborhoods experiencing power outages, according to PG&E's website. Now, clearly I'm using an umbrella out here. It is pretty rainy out here. Now, I'm going to step out of the way just so you can kind of see the road conditions right now. It is rainy. There's not that many people on the road, so luckily that's good. But there is a bit of flooding on the road right now. Now, when I'm looking at the conditions, it's rainy, it's windy, it's wet. If you're going to go out, just please drive carefully because there is some flooding conditions out here. Christina, I'm going to be sending it back to you in the studio. Sophia, continue to stay safe out there. And of course, as Sophia mentioned in her story, we will talk to her later on in the show to learn more about local conditions and what the weather is like over in the Central Valley. pg &E has also reported a large power outage in part of Sequoia National Forest and a smaller part in Kings Canyon National Park. According to its website, pg &E customers have been without power in that area since 6 p.m. The estimated time of restoration is midnight. And in Madera, more than 1,500 people have been without power since 8. pg and &E estimates restoration time is around 1130. And just south of the valley in Pismo, more than 2,300 people are without power. pg and &E has no estimated time of restoration for that area.